If you've already been watching the other videos in this series, this is the third video all about the Stock Sync Shopify app and how to get that set up for your Shopify store. So I will link in the description below this video the links to the first and second video where we talk about the Stock Sync app and why you need it for your Shopify store to automatically manage your inventory, as well as how to set up new products through the app. So in this video, we're actually going to be going through how to set up different price and quantity fields so that you can set up these rules and restrictions to make sure that the app is working correctly for you. And again, it's really automating everything, taking a lot more off your plate so you're not having to go in and, and update your inventory manually. So there's a lot to cover in this video because this feature is actually my favorite of the app. So let's go ahead and hop into my computer and let's get started. Okay, great. So I am in the back end of my Shopify store now under apps in this left hand side, and I'm just going to click on stock sync to go ahead and go into the app. Now we have our feed set up here that we've set up in previous videos, but what we're going to be going over in this video, as I mentioned, is the price and quantity rules. So to do that, we're going to update this existing feed settings. Okay. And I'm just going to hit next. So here we have all of our fields that have been mapped over that we did in the guided field mapping. But what we're wanting to do is go a little bit more into the price details and the quantity details that you can go in whenever you're setting up or editing your feed. So if you come in here to price, so wherever it is in your list over here, if you click for more settings, you can see some of the different options that you have here. So this first field, we have a period because we're wanting to have since in our price. However, if you were using you know, larger prices and you needed a comma, like for a thousand, then you would put that comma in here. There's also the ability to round your prices. Now keep in mind that anything that you change here is going to change it in all of your prices feed. So it's really cool that you can very quickly automate and change everything. So for example, if you wanted to round the price. So you wanted it to be, you know, all of the prices end in 99 cents. Then you could come in here and you could change it to round to 99 cents, or you could have it to change all to a round to an even um, zero, so make it an even dollar. And you can come in and you can change how that affects your pricing. So let's go ahead and keep it all at rounding to zero to keep it nice and even. They also have these other price conditions, which are super cool. So we can come in here and hit add condition and you can see some of their examples here below. So if we want the price, so if we click in here and we can just type in price and let's say we want it to equal. So if the price equals $10, we can then come over here in the formula field and tell it what we want that to do. So we can say if it equals $10 to add, you know, let's say $5 to that. So it's going to automatically go through when you're in your feed and whenever it's syncing, it's going to have that price. Anything that's equal $10 exactly, it's going to have it add an additional $5 to the price. So for another condition that we could do, so let's say we have a couple low price options. So we can say price is less than, and we'll say five. So if it's less than $5, what we wanna do now is we want to add a little to it. So we can do a star, which is to multiply, and say 1.2, which is doing 20%. So any time it comes across a price that is under $5, it's going to then add 20% to the original price. So this is a really quick way to go in and edit all of your prices based on these conditions without having to go in and manually update every price. So these fields here, you can do a less than, a greater than, an equal or less than, 
or equal to or greater than or equal to. So it's just like those that we learned in school, but you can come in here and you just set the condition on this side and then you do the formula of what you want it to do on this right side. So that is how you can update the prices very quickly for all of your products, but let's go down to the quantity field and I'll show you some of the settings for there as well. So you can see here, here's the quantity. If we click for more settings, we can add some additional rules as well. So if we hit add rule, so this first is the rule operator, which we'll choose. So if we click in here and we can say if the quantity is less than, and we'll say, let's say if it's less than two products, or two available quantity of that product, then just go ahead and make it a zero. So that way we're making sure we're not overselling. You could also add in other rules here, and you can say if it, the quantity is greater than a certain amount, if it equals a certain amount, if it's empty, so that would be if it's empty, you want it to equal zero. So you can make sure that you can get all of that inputted correctly and you're not accidentally selling things that you don't have any stock of. So again, we can come in here and we could do greater than. So if the quantity is greater than, let's say 10, we're gonna make it 15. So if you know that you have more coming in, you can also add in, if we come in here and do equals or starts with or ends with, there's a lot of different options that you can do of going in and automatically changing those quantity fields very quickly throughout all of your products. So as I mentioned, this is some really cool functionality that ties into their already cool functionality of the field mapping of how you can automatically edit your prices and your quantities in bulk, which is really nice and saves a lot of time.